Welcome to educational channel. So in this video, I'll explain you the complete chapter indices. So we can take this chapter as exponents also. In some textbooks, we have the headings exponents or indices. So each and every topic in this, including example problems and loss of exponents and how to solve the problems using the formulas. Okay. Let us see each and everything one by one. And before that, if you want the material and some work assignments, from this chapter you can see the link in description below also otherwise you can see the website name so especially for ICSE this chart this video especially for ICSE and other board material also is available in the site so just to go through that and you can find out topic wise subject wise so previous uh, question papers also are available so not only for higher section even from class 6th okay from class 6 to 12 so all the subjects information is available so that you can go through Okay, so now let us start this topic. So indices. So another name is exponents. So in the chapter name is either exponents or indices. Also this video is the same. Let us see what is indices first. Okay. For example, if I take number 3. So let me take one number 3. Okay. 3 I am multiplying 5 times. So 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Right. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 is number multiplied 5 times. This we can write 3 to the power 5. Okay. Here is the 3 is the base. And this 5 only is nothing but index or exponent. So this 5 is no, this is a index. So 3 is the base. Now this is the base and this 5 is exponent or index. Let us see an exam uh, definition. Let us see the definition in this. Okay. So for any real number, because we should not take the example, we should use some the variable letters. That means for any real number, to say the definition of indices, for any real number, for any real number, A. So here is a 3 in our example, this example, in this example 3 is the real number now. So for any real number A, so A is the number and a positive integer. This is important because it is a positive integer. Positive integer say M. Okay. A is any real number and M is a positive integer. Then we define Here A is the base. Okay. Here A is base. And so as I explained, M is the index or exponent. M is the index or exponent. So when we can say a is the base and m is exponent, so what we should define that is a should be multiplied m times. That means so what we can define here a into a into a into so on. This is to m factors. That means m times so m factors. Then we can write this is a to the power m. Okay. Then that means a is the base and m is the index or exponent. That, so the plural of index is only is indices. So is a, a is the base okay, and m is the index. right? Therefore, the plural because index is a singular. So the plural of index is indices. Okay. Otherwise, exponent. So the uh, exponent is a singular. Exponents is a plural. That's why indices or exponents. So this you can take or exponents also. So any one of the name they can keep in as uh, textbooks. So indices or exponents. So you can take the definitions similarly. So you can define any number of times. So for example. 
minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. So this we can write minus 2 to the power 4 because minus 2 is multiplied 4 times. So here minus 2 is base right and that 4 is exponent or index 4 is index or exponent right and also we can define any number to the power 0 so that means a to the power 0 is equals to 1 so because 0 to the power 0 is only 0 so apart from 0 so a is a non-zero here a is a non-zero then a to the power 0 is equal to 1 and this we can take out the formula similarly one more a to the power minus n so we can write 1 by a to the power n okay if it is any negative power to make it as positive make it is a reciprocal so a to the power minus n is equal to 1 by a power n using this two we can write examples also if you observe that is a 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1 okay or minus 2 to the power 0 is equals to 1 so is all we can take and here 2 to the power minus 5 you can write 1 by 2 to the power 5 okay or one more example if you take minus 3 to the power minus 4 so this is 1 by minus 3 to the power 4 so if any negative integer we should make it as a positive there only because according to the uh, definition that m should be the positive integer not negative the power should be so the exponent or index of power all the similar words that should be positive integer it should be positive integers so if any negative power to make it as positive take the reciprocal so this formula can apply a power minus n is equals to 1 by a power n but a to the power 0 is equals to 1 a is of any number non-zero right so these are this is a simple definition about uh, indices so what is indices word and how we can define okay now let us see the fractional indices okay this is about index now what is the fractional index or fractional exponents then all the problems are related to the topic we'll see now 